Okay, good morning, everyone. Pastor Brett here. Um, I just wanted to uh, look at this um, video by Pastor Dwayne and do a quick review of it. Um, Pastor Dwayne has been, um, through textual critical means, um, been um, looking at the New Testament and picking out texts that are in question that are considered text variants. And he spends a lot of time and a lot of effort, which I have a great deal of respect for, um, in putting together all of these charts and everything else that he does. And his presentation is so solid um, that it's hard to compete with. Um, and the sad thing is, is there shouldn't be any competition. Um, but the competition is over the truth. And the only reason I compete, the only reason I continue to fight is because the Apostle Paul encouraged us to, right? You know, keep fighting, right? We keep fighting to obtain the prize, right? We don't quit because we're not winning. Pastor Dwayne's five blocks ahead, so I'm just going to give up. No, I'm going to keep running. I'm just going to keep on fighting. I'm just going to go around like the... Uh, <laughs> 24 rounds, I think, uh, um, what's his name, went through. Uh, um, I was watching an old boxing match, and they, they were fighting 24 rounds. I'm like, wow, <laughs> those were amazing. Um, so, uh, um, at any rate, we keep fighting, right? We keep fighting. Um, here's my response. I want to read my response to Pastor Dwayne. And his, uh, this is just one of many responses that I've offered. They're ignored. Um, they're not even considered because, after all, they have a, um, I know it, that's it, it's settled mentality. And, and this is for most critical text people, I say, as a whole. I don't necessarily... Um, I'm not, I'm not into the condemnation thing. You know, uh, you're going to hell in a handbasket because you're preaching false doctrine. Um, I am going to say this though, um, be careful because we are, um, going to, um, uh, answer for everything we taught. Everything. It's scary. Um, because you know, I know I had a lot of things to learn early on as a youth in Christ. And I used to teach a lot of things that today I balk at. <laughs> I can't believe I used to believe that stuff. Wow, it's insane. Um, um, yeah, I got saved in one of those uh, name it, claim it churches, man. Little tiny Pentecostal church, man, was naming it and claiming it and healing and all kinds of power experience and I, that was crazy um yeah i used to believe that stuff um today hallelujah couldn't i wouldn't touch it with a 10 foot pole man I, i'm i'm so far removed from it and yet i'm still i still believe in the gifts of the spirit for today um, I'll never doubt that. That's in the word, you know. What does the word say? You know, the word of God is clear. Well, what word? What word are what, what were we, we talking about? What word? I'm not talking about, you know, just individual translations, just what word? Do we have a text that we can say is stable, that we can trust, that we know we can trust? Listen to my words. <clears throat> said my biggest problem with the critical text is the doubt that is inflicted by their assertions. Uh, i.e. the New King James Version in the bottom of the text. I said, if the comma does not belong, since we're talking about the comma Yohannium in Pastor Dwayne's video, let's stay with that. If the comma does not belong, then I have believed a lie for 35 years. If Acts 8.37, Mark 16, 9-20, John 7.53-8.11, and many more do not belong, what reason do we have to trust it at all? The Muslim wins with your point of view. With the KJVO uh, slash first position, we exhibit a stable, trustworthy text. Um, I said, I watched your video replay. I will continue to present the truth that saved my soul. 
if we are to trust your point of view, we will no longer possess the formal equivalent position we currently hold to. Okay, and so I said, um, uh, let's see, da, da, da. why bicker over words, right? It's the message that matters, right? Jesus lived the perfect life. He died a sinner's death. Then he rose from the grave three days later. Now by faith in that finished work, all who believe are saved, right? So why bicker over words? I'm reminded of 1 Timothy 6, 3 through 5. Sla quote unquote, wholesome words, right? In verse 3, or words of our Lord Jesus. Uh, do words matter? Uh, answer that one prayerfully. Um, do words matter? Answer that one prayerfully. So that's uh, my look at Pastor Dwayne's video. Uh, there's more to it, um, but that's basically the crux of it. From me to him and to all who will read it, um, God bless you. I love you, and I pray God's best upon you. But um, you need to know that... Um, Textual criticism, you can go down that rabbit hole too far. And uh, yeah, you can get lost. You get lost down there, man, with all those different translations and all those different voices and all those different words and all those different. You get lost down there. You get caught. Be careful you don't bump into Bart Ehrman. Um, if you do, you know you're in the wrong place. Hallelujah. Um Thank you, Jesus. Uh, I, I pray God's best for you. I hope that uh, the Lord opens your eyes and shows you the truth in the King James Version. Um, uh, Jesus loves you. I love you. And I hope and pray that you have a blessed Thanksgiving and everything else in Jesus' name.